Using stem cells for anything other than a bone marrow transplant is considered experimental. Governor Perry made headlines this month after announcing he'd undergone a stem cell treatment during back surgery. Tonight, our medical reporter Janet St. James takes a closer look at the controversial procedure being conducted right here in North Texas. It was pretty bad. Five months ago, 37 year old Chris Youngman couldn't do this because of severe back pain. You know, I couldn't hardly bend down and put on my shoes or socks before, you know, on a daily basis. After years of suffering, Youngman healed himself, sort of, with the help of neurosurgeon Rob Dickerman. I'm using your bone to grow your bone, so it's, there's nothing really any safer. Forest Park Medical Center Dr. Dickerman is using an innovative and controversial technique for spinal fusion, using a patient's own stem cells to grow new bone. Doctors used to use cadaver bone or take a painful portion of a patient's own hip to fuse the spine together. Well, now we don't need to take a hip, chunk of your hip. We can just, with technology, pull the bone marrow directly from the hip, concentrate it to get more stem cells, put it inside of a cage to hold it, and then it does its job. The less invasive procedure happens inside the operating room where stem cells are extracted from the hip with a long needle. Only a Band-Aid is needed afterwards. The cells are then condensed in a centrifuge. The process takes only minutes. Right now we extracted five cc's of the stem cells. Those rich cells are then mixed into a putty and stuffed into small containers called cages. The cages are inserted between degenerating discs where the stem cells harden into new bone. This Therapy. is four and a half months after surgery. And these white things? These are, these are, this is the bone growing through the cages. Dr. Dickerman says with traditional spinal fusion, it may take a year or more for patients to regenerate bone. He's seeing high rates of success in half the time, though the technique is not FDA approved. I was walking the next day. Um, this has gradually gotten better. Just four months after his surgery, Chris Youngman is working out again and ready for full duty as a firefighter. Janet St. James, Channel 8 News.